Challenger Rally Sky 5 over Troop Spree, where thousands of market basket workers and customers gathered once again together to pressure management to reinstate ousted CEO Arthur T. DeMoltz. New Center 5's Jack Harper is there, and Jack, it's week three in this feud, and many workers are now starting to feel pinched. I think anyone who's been involved that long would be at this point, that's for sure. Amazingly, this parking lot, thousands of workers this morning. Inside that store now, virtually empty. By far, the most empty we've seen since this all began. We're talking about our warehouse associates. The truck drivers. Clean out office staff. The family feud hitting home for thousands of families. Doug Hicks works the warehouse, went out 18 days ago. It's the third week of the strike, but I got on the, um, the week that we went on strike, I got a following check the following week because they held it back a week. So it's only been like two weeks now, but uh, we're hanging in there, so. You have bills to pay like everybody else. Yep, everybody's got bills. <laughs> Away from the roar, everyone's losing. Workers who go week to week and check to check thought it would be over by now. We gotta do what we gotta do for our families. Yeah. See what happens. Millionaires losing millions, hourly workers losing hundreds. Who's hurting most? The millionaires won't talk. I don't know what are we gonna do. I mean, that's, that's the phone bill and the water bill and a couple others. Lots of these workers have actually seen that letter from Jack DeMoulis, one of the directors with the company, urging them to go back to work so the two Arthurs, in his words, can kind of work things out. One of the uh, leaders of that rally said he couldn't believe when DeMoulis called him, Jack DeMoulis, last night asking for his help. He said, hey, you fired me two weeks ago. you got to be kidding. In Tuxford, I'm Jack Harper, WCBB News Center.